Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we'll talk about preparation for NCAA program accreditation and we will begin with standard number one mission and objectives. I'm Dr. Abdurrahman Al Qawasim. What is a mission? The mission is a short statement that shows what we are doing. For example, we educate, we are doing research, and we are servicing or providing services for community. Why we are doing? To achieve strategic goal by the country or by the university. What is our product or services? Graduates, published research, and community activities. Who is our client? The market and society. Specifications of the mission. The mission should be clear to audience and the audience for our mission can be stakeholders, students, faculty, market, program managers, community, and so on. The mission also should be straightforward points which means the keywords of the mission should be clear. Education, research, and community service. Realistic, which means the mission should be applicable. Written based on available time and resources. The mission is about what we are doing and what we want to achieve or to know but the vision is about where we want to be in the future. The mission identifying goals. Goals are written based on the mission. Education as a key word of our mission is to provide the market with well-educated engineers, creativity, talent and professionals as an example researchers they have research skills good scientific knowledge teamwork ethics and so on serving community they should be responsible they should know how to work in teamwork and to be leaders you will achieve your mission if you achieved your goals. What I need to achieve my mission? Planning. I should have strategic and operational plans. And of course, improving plan. Resources. Labs, library, classrooms, infrastructure. Management and the quality assurance and planners, from rector to head of department, partnerships, follow-up, reporting, improving, measuring, evaluation, decision-making, experience, awareness, market needs, study plan, program specifications, course specifications should be updated and they should meet market requirements. Students, Selected to meet the program requirements, admission and counseling, admission conditions or requirements, and an effective counseling process for students. Of course, qualified faculty members. Why our mission should consist with the college and university? The university is responsible for all operation and it has its own mission and goals that is wants to be to be achieved or to achieve by the university. The university can achieve its mission and goals if 
all colleges, deanships, and vice rectorates work together to achieve the mission of the university through achieving their own missions. This can be realized only if your mission consists not similar. I mean consists with the mean it is not exactly typical of the college because every uh, of the university because every college has its uh, specializations and uh, different object uh, uh, not uh, the exact objectives and uh, program learning outcomes. So this can be realized only if your mission consists with the university mission through the consisting with the college's mission. Of course, if the program is a part of the college, to achieve the university mission, you first should achieve the college's mission. University leaders assure that their mission and goals will be achieved through creating the strategic plan with defined goals, organizational chart, and good monitoring system. The consistency, strategic plan, and organizational chart can provide the university leaders with an efficient system to follow, measure, and evaluate the achievement of its mission and goals. Standard 1. Mission and Objectives. The program has a clear and appropriate mission that is consist with the mission statement of the institution and the college de or department and support its application. The mission guides program planning and decision making processes. The program goals and the plans must be linked to it and it must be periodically reviewed. This is the definition of the mission and objectives by NCAA. What is the mission of your program? You need to know the keywords of the mission. For example, research, education, community, service. There is no need to memorize your mission exactly word by word, but you have to know what it is about. The main keywords uh, of your mission will help you to explain, to understand what is your mission. What are the goals, objectives of your programs? You need to link objectives with the mission, but in more detailed information. Next, they will be linked to the program learning outcomes. To remember your objectives, of course, it, your objectives extracted from your mission. But after that, you as an instructor, you are should know the program learning outcomes because they are distributed over courses. So if you can link all them together, it will be clear for you to memorize or to know mission objectives and program learning outcomes. To prepare well-educated students, for example, to conduct research and lifelong learning, to be responsible and serving community. What is the processes to update mission and goals? In a period of three, five years, three, five years, maybe three, four, five, based on program. Mainly in engineering, you need five years. Every five years, you need to update your mission and goals after uh, graduations of the first a cohort or maybe four years for other programs it is based on the number of years for every program but mainly in order to complete the cycle and to have graduates you need to update your mission if needed and goals every five years so this is a periodically and uh, it is also uh, based uh, on the strategic plan period of the university also five years must check the consistency with the mission of the university college feedback from stakeholders advisory report surveys some kpis measures the response of stakeholders on the mission and goals graduates employers students faculty members reports workshops discussions 
Uh, this means that maybe you don't need to wait five years to update your mission. Maybe based on external reviewing, uh, academic accreditation body, or uh, an urgent uh, uh, requirement, maybe you need to update your mission and goals. Of course, any changes or updating in the mission or goals should be approved by the department council. Explain how do you how do you monitor, review, and develop the mission and program educational objectives? Objectives, program educational objectives of your program. The mission and program education objectives were discussed intensively in the department. For example, this example they are discussed and of course, the department council member discussed the consistency of the program's mission with the college and the university mission to include preparing high quality for program engineers, research, and community service. The program's mission is discussed and approved, for example, separately in another department council. So, periodically, the department council, they are based on feedback from stakeholders or from other uh, sources they are discussing the mission and the program educational objectives if needed and uh, with and after discussion of course uh, maybe uh, sh the mission or the objectives need updates or uh, or the objectives also should be updated and this is should be approved by the department council in this case to answer answer this question it is not good to to, to answer this question talking about regulations or about standards it's better to talk to talk about practical steps that you did in your program how do you assure the achievement of the mission and goals the program mission and goals guide all operations and activities. All goals uh, uh, pro, uh, are evaluated according to KPI, KPIs, key performance indicators. In addition to KPI, for example, KPI 1, percentage of achieved indicators of the program operational plan objectives. This is KPI number 1, and it is required by NCAA. Also, each year in the annual program report, the key performance indicators are evaluated and actions are taken for improvement. How did you participate in the process of updating mission and goals of your program as a faculty member? For example, I filled survey about mission and goals. I participated in workshops, department meetings to discuss the mission and goals of the program. Why we need a mission? It is the main guide for our program achievement and improvement, and it is linked to our operational plan and key performance indicators. To tell the beneficiaries about our graduates' attributes, why we need to update our mission and goals changing in market requirements, national vision, new trends in engineering, feedback from stakeholders, and so on. What are the KPIs related to the program's objectives, and what are the results? Uh, list your objectives and related KPIs, and it is better to choose the approved NCAA KPIs. For example, if you have objectives about well-educated engineer, so the KPI, for example, uh, the average grade in standard national exams. And all objectives, if you have four objectives, maybe you can link one objective to two, one or two or three KPIs. And these KPIs maybe should be uh, the KPIs that uh, uh, are measured after graduations of uh, students. What is the planning methodology in the program? The strategic plan of the university, the operational plan of the college, and reports, annual program report, committees, stakeholders, surveys, feedback, internal and external <clears throat> reviewing. Uh, is the structure driving the plan or vice versa? 
The structure is approved by the university and it's the main guide for all programs in general. The department has the flexibility to add its initiatives and activities based on its engineering needs and based on the nature of specialization. I'm talking about program engineering as example, but it is suitable for all programs. What are the levels of updates achieved by the strategic plan in the reconstructing? Mainly, the strategic planning is a university level, strategic goals, sub-goals, and KPIs. The college and program follow the university structure. The program can add initiatives, activities, and internal KPIs based on its needs. Is there an operational plan? Do you need support from the university? How is it supported by the university? How long does it take to get support? If not, what are the alternatives? So you have many questions here, but they are related to each other. So we have, and of course, every program has an operational plan with activities distributed over department committees. Uh, they have support from university in some activities like updating labs and infrastructure if required, organizing activities, funding research activities, community service activities. Thank you and goodbye. Next, inshallah, presentation will be about standard number two. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.